Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, so I'm back at my usual, my usual spot for my walk. <laughs> so peaceful in here. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful cemetery. <clears throat> and I come here, I do my walk in. I gotta get, I gotta get focused, you know? I really gotta change my mindset. You know, go back to my, you know, earlier days where I was, you know, hungry, you know, like, you know, motivated, wanting to make money, wanting to, you know, work out, trying to transform. I don't, I don't know if I can do it, but I'm going to try. So... I'm just hitting the trail for just like 15 minutes. And then I gotta go to my appointment. I got an appointment. So I got good news. Thea is going to school, yay! So, hopefully, I mean, she's not in school yet. But I got the call. Friday, it's a big hill here. <laughs> I got the call on Friday, and uh, they sent me some more forms to uh, fill out. And uh, yeah, so I signed that stuff today. Sent it back. Beautiful spot. I don't know, some of these trees gotta be 100 years old, which is nothing, but maybe they're more. Maybe like 500 years old. So, I'm gonna sit here, so I can do the, do the video. cold today <coughs> fall is in the air leaves are starting to change day is getting big thank god she's getting so big guys she's growing so fast she's not my little baby anymore So I just thought I'd do a quick update. You guys haven't seen me around too much. I've been busy. I got a lot on my plate, a lot to do. Lynn will be coming soon. So I got no time to spare. But I'm happy, I'm really happy that they are gonna start school either this week or next week. She sent me all the consent forms, you know, consent to this, consent to that. They want your medical rack. They want to be able to access your medical. I said, no, 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 <laughs> I don't know. They want consent if they take a picture of your kid. They want consent to this, they want consent to everything. So I filled out all the consent forms today and uh, sent them back. I spoke to the girl on Friday. She said she's not in the office on Monday. She'll look at the stuff on Tuesday. And then after she reviews everything, that you know, the signatures are all in the right place, ba 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 ba. She will give me a call and we'll schedule a time for when they will start school. So uh, I'm I'm I think I'm more nervous than she is, to be honest with you. I'm so nervous, you know, I hate to leave my kid with anybody. Um I just, my wheels start turning and think about all the negatives. I'm like, oh, what if this, what if that, what if that, what if that? Ah! <laughs> and I know my daughter, she'll be excited maybe for the first five minutes. And after that, where's my dad? Where's my dad? It's gonna be heartbreaking. It really is. I'm gonna be so heartbroken when she's crying, looking for me. I told Lynn the first day of school, I'm just gonna park in the parking lot and just sit there all day. <laughs> Make sure she's okay. I'm just gonna sit out front of the school all day long. 
Oh boy. So yeah, she's going to school. It's exciting. Uh, I'm so happy for her. She, that kid is a uh, sponge. I mean, she wants to learn so bad. She asks questions about everything. She's so smart, so, so smart. Uh, I miss the Philippines. She misses the Philippines. Yesterday, we were driving into the city to go get some fish and she said, Daddy, I miss Kevin. Let's go to the mountains. Let's get on the plane. She said, Dad, let's go. Let's get on the plane and go to the mountains and see Kevin. She really loves Kevin. You know, uh, don't forget that these are her cousins since the day she was born. You know, I mean, I mean, yeah, she's she's she loves my brother's kids. You know, they're they're a little bit older than her, but not much. A few years older than her. And um, and, uh, they 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 treat her like one of the family. It's so nice. You know, my brother's kids. They're so good to her. Um, it's like she's one of the sisters, you know. There's, there's, and she hates to leave there. She cries and cries so hard to leave my brother's house. She don't want to leave. She really, they have, of course, they have everything. You know, my brother, you know, spoils them, and uh, they got every toy, every gadget. They got hamsters, guinea pigs. You know, they got everything. My, Thea just loves it. You know. <clears throat> But I, I miss the Philippines. Honestly, you know, it's a, it's a great lifestyle there. It really is. Um, but you have to have a lot of, uh, I don't know, you gotta be well, well prepared. I mean, we are, I mean, we are well prepared to live there. Um, but Lynn and I are trying to look a little bit past the next couple of years we're trying to look to the future and that's really hard to do you know i mean you know we we're just thinking you know like yeah you know, we stay in the philippines we don't go back to the usa and then what happens in 10 15 years from now and uh what if we don't have enough savings 10 15 years you know i ain't going back to work when i'm 65 <laughs> you know you know what i mean so you know I don't know, I think, I think we're doing the right thing, you know, um, to come back to the US for the next few years, couple of years, and bang out a few more years of work, you know, make sure that we're, we're well prepared for the long term, the long haul. Uh, we already have a beautiful house there, so we're already well ahead of the curve. Um, so yeah, you know. And uh, if, if a few months go by or a six months or a year go by and we decide we don't want to be here she don't want to be here um we can't save maybe we can't save because you know all the bills you know, it's expensive here you know you got to pay rent or a mortgage either one uh you got tuition you got school tuition and of course you got to live you got to eat you got to have clothing uh, so we'll see, you know, we're going to see how, how the dices roll out, can we save, can, is it worth it, are we just working, just paying bills, and then after three years we don't really have any savings, so kind of what's the point, you know, so we're going to see uh, how it goes, Lynn's excited, in, in any case, uh, there's no harm, because Lynn and Kyle, they've never been here, they're so excited to come, they really are, they can't wait to be here in the U.S., so I'm happy for them, you know, and, and uh, if Lynn is smart, and it's up to her, you know, I ain't gonna force her to do anything, but it's up to her, if she's smart, she will stick it out for three years and uh, get her citizenship. And then Kyla's automatic citizen, and then they have dual citizenship and they have the best of both worlds. They don't have to fly back here every year just so they don't lose their green card. That's ridiculous, you know, um, to come back to the USA every year to just get a green card. You know, that's crazy. Just to keep up your green card, you know. Three years goes by like that. And, uh, you know, it's up to Lynn. These things, uh, I already have citizenship. <laughs> I don't need to stay here for three years. So it's up to Lynn, you know, it's up, it's up to her. What she wants for her and her daughter. Me and Thea, we're out of USA citizens. citizens. Uh, so it's really up to Lynn. It's her decision. 
Ooh. Anyways, I'm gonna stop the video here and things are going well. Thay is gonna start school this week. I'll do a video her first day of school. Keep an eye out. Thanks for watching.